drop a like in the next 5 seconds if you want to get the Aquaman skin for free. Welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and in this video I'll be showing you how to get the Aquaman skin in Fortnite Battle Royale. I pretty much have all the leaks, information and much more. Now real quick we're so close to 4.3 million subscribers. So if you hit the subscribe button right now you can be my 4 million 300th thousand subscriber. And also a huge shout out to everyone who is using code SHUFAGAMER in the item shop. If you do, use the code, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section by saying I used your code and I will give your comment a heart. Thanks to Epic Games for allowing me in their program. Now, with all that said, let's actually start with the video. We received the new season. Chapter 2, Season 3 got released and it included a bunch of new content. We got new skins, a complete new battle pass, as well as new map locations. I actually maxed out the entire battle pass and unlocked every single item. Anyways, there are actually a ton of items that you can get for free without even owning the battle pass. And speaking of the battle pass, I'm going to be gifting a lot of my subscribers the brand new Chapter 2 Season 3 battle pass. So, if you want to have a chance of winning one of the brand new battle passes for free, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and from there comment down below your Epic Games username. This way, I can add you and maybe gift you the Chapter 2 Season 3 Battle Pass. Good luck to everyone who decides to enter. By the way, this season is going to last through August the 27th. However, this is not everything. At the Authority, we have a shadow boss named Jules, or better known as the Engineer. And she will drop you not only the Authority keycard to open the vault, but also Jules' glider gun and Jules' drum gun. Over at the Fortilla, we have a ghost boss named Ocean. Dropping the Fortilla keycard, the Ocean's burst, assault rifle, as well as the Ocean's bottomless chug jug. And last but not least, over at Caddy Corner, we have a new boss with brand new henchmen. The henchmen are the Kid Bash skins. And you can of course become one too. Now, the boss is named Kid and will drop you the Caddy Corner keycard, the Kid's shockwave launcher, as well as the Kid's charge shotgun. From there, a bunch of items have been unvaulted, such as Chuck Splashes, Stink Grenades, the P90, the Bolt Action Sniper Rifle, and the Hunting Rifle. And best of all, you can now travel across the island by the use of a shark. We even received these boxes that you can search. They drop tons of consumables that you can actually carry with you, such as apples, cabbage, shield mushrooms, and even pepper and corn. It is just a great new feature. Now, during the trailer, a couple of secret scenes could be spotted. Such as this scene where we can see drivable cars, trucks and buses. Now, they are not in game yet, but trust me, they will come in a future update this season. Same goes for the Renegade Raider skin that was spotted in the trailer too. This will be a complete new skin and not an extra added style, since the OG1 still only has these two added styles. Anyway, this is what the Molten Renegade Raider skin looks like. Fun fact, the bear and gnomes now officially live in harmony. Over at this exact location, they can be found hanging out and playing board games together. Now, for the past couple of hours, I've actually played the game to see what items I could unlock for completely free. Now, after doing so, I was actually shocked on how many free items you can get in the new season. This season, we will be unlocking Aquaman as a secret skin. Yes, Aquaman from the DC Comics series. Right here, within this scene where Meow Souls is running ashore, you can see Aquaman riding a giant flopper. Also, when being on the Battle Pass selection screen, you can see Aquaman chilling on the throne of V-Bucks. Anyways, after buying the Chapter 2 Season 3 Battle Pass, you will be able to start unlocking the Aquaman skin. To unlock it, get over to the Battle Pass lobby and over there, you're actually able to spot him. So, click on Style Challenges and after that loads up, it shows you the Aquaman skin with a total of two styles. We have the default style as well as the Arthur Curry style. In order to claim the skin itself, you need to complete a total of 5 Aquaman challenges. To view your Aquaman challenges, select the challenges tab in-game or head back to the main battle pass lobby and click on map challenges. Now, select Aquaman challenges and you will see that every single week a new challenge is going to get released. And for each challenge that you complete, you will collect a free reward. In fact, the first challenge has already been unlocked, being use a whirlpool at the Fortilla. To complete this, head over to any game mode and make your way over to the southwest of the map. 
Over there, you will find a new POI by the name of Fortilla. And while gliding to it, scan the area for a spinning tornado within the water. Those are pretty much the whirlpools. They look like this, and finding one shouldn't be a problem. So, just land at one, and from there, you will complete the first Aquaman challenge, giving you a new loading screen. It is called King of the Beach, and as you can see, it is from the DC series Rarity. It reads, created by Dan Mora, part of the Aquaman set. And this is what it looks like in full screen. Now, like I said, there are gonna be more Aquaman challenges. The second challenge has actually been leaked already. It is use a fishing pole to ride behind a loot shark at sweaty sands. For this, grab yourself a fishing rod and throw it out at a shark. Now, just wait for it to bite and you will successfully complete the second challenge. All the rewards have been leaked as well. In week 2, we will unlock the Trident Spray. In week 3, we will unlock Aquaman's Trident Pickaxe. In week 4, we will unlock the Supreme Shell Backblade. And in week 5, we will unlock the Sea Shaka Emoticon. Here is what all of them are going to look like. And after completing all 5 challenges, you will unlock the Aquaman skin itself that comes with the default style, which looks like this. And in order to unlock the Arthur Curry style, you need to dive over the waterfall at Gorgeous Gorge while wearing the Aquaman outfit. This is the location of the waterfall at Gorgeous Gorge. Right here at coordinate E5 between the Authority and Lazy Lake, you can find the waterfall. Anyways, here is what the Arthur Curry style looks like. Fun fact, the yacht which first belonged to Deadpool got spray painted by Aquaman. Deadpool now has a crown as well as a trident. Pretty funny in my opinion. Okay, so the first three items that we are gonna be covering in this video are going to be the super obvious ones. And that is the free battle pass. Each season we get free battle pass rewards and we get rewards which you unlock after purchasing the buyable battle pass. And look at you because this season Epic Games decided to put more free items in the battle pass. At tier 2 you will be able to unlock the flipping away emote. At tier 6, you will unlock the Beach Cumber Back Blade. At tier 9, you will be able to unlock the Beyond the Waves loading screen. At tier 13, you can unlock the Orienteer Emoticon. At tier 18, you can unlock the Undercurrent Wrap. At tier 23, you will be unlocking the Deep Dive Back Blade. From there, at tier 28, you can unlock the Hammerhead Spray. At tier 33, you can get the So Square Emote. At tier 38, you can get this Dive Nice Dual Wield Pickaxe. Next up, at tier 43, you can get the Star Drop Contrail. At tier 48, you can unlock this Banger Music Pack. And at tier 58, you will be able to claim the Floatsburg Loading Screen. From there, at tier 63, we have another free back blade named Infinite Bloom. And at tier 68, we have the Scat Banner Icon. Moving on, at tier 73, we have the Star Strider Glider. At tier 78, we have another Banner Icon. At tier 85, we have the Knight's Helm Spray. At tier 92, we have the Sigil Red Wrap. And last but not least, 300 V-Bucks that you can get for free too. From there, we have a bunch of exclusive stuff that you can unlock for free which you might not know about. First up, we have the free Victory Real Glider. Each and every single season, you get a free umbrella when you are able to grab your first win. And after getting your first win in Chapter 2, Season 3 and going back to the main lobby screen, you will receive the following unlocking screen. It will say, congratulations, you earned a Victory Real. And from there, you unlocked the uncommon Fortilla Glider. It has a description that reads, the signature umbrella of unsinkable drifters. From there, leakers were able to find out what this season's starter pack is going to be. This season's starter pack is going to give us the Jello Jacket skin, the Backstabber Back Bling, the Venom Blade Pickaxe, as well as 600 V-Bucks. Here is what they all will look like. Next up, we have a couple of more bundles coming to the game. First of all, we have some Icon Series bundles. The first one being the Loser Fruit bundle. This includes the Loser Fruit skin, Back Bling, Dual Wield Pickaxe, and Emote. And here is what they all will look like. From there, Marshmallow is also getting a bundle, including the Marshmallow skin, the Mars Walk emote, the Mellow Rider Glider, as well as the Mellow Mallet's Pickaxe. From there, we have a few unreleased skins as well as emotes. I will go ahead and play some gameplay of everything right now. Enjoy!